always exciting to be around um, an artist community that's from the same background, either they're from the Philippines or in Chicago. I'm a realist painter. I'm a figurative painter, and I deal, I deal with, a lot, with a lot of social relevant issues in my work, and as well as beauty of humanity. And I'm using the bulo because it's it's um, somewhat representative of the culture. That I'm, although I'm Filipino American, I'm actually I'm feeling like I'm acculturating the Filipinos. I don't have a distinct tribe that I came from or a distinct province, so I I am. Um, um, my whole idea is to encompass inc all the symbols that I can get from all, um, all parts of the Philippines, um, from the south to the north. Um, I'd like to be underrated. Um, I also like to explore the human condition. And my art is not consistent at all. It changes every year. I did a couple of elements. Um, the major element was the Carabao armor. Um, the, uh, the second visual element is the portrait. Um, it's the beauty queen, the blue one. Um, it's actually a portrait of uh, our comedian Dolphy. I primarily wanted to still mold with my counterparts and try to instill a sense of identity and nationalism and make them understand that um, Coming from where you are is very important and um, the values um, that are practiced in our country should still be practiced here. I feel like I'm still trying to understand my style, um, but I guess I would say that I have an illustrative type style um, and I really focus on color schemes and narratives, so I'm telling a story through a character or a setting. I picked the boat on the Filipino-American side. It's a Balangay boat and it's supposed to represent, for me, the immigration of my family as a Filipino-American coming to America and just the difficult journey that they had went through. Maybe some of those experiences might have been shared by other Filipino Americans um, coming to America, uprooting their life and bringing their customs and heritage with them. I am a figurative artist, so I do a lot, I, a lot of figures and portrait in um, oil medium and acrylic medium. I painted the lady the half-naked native lady. It represents that she woke up from the from the deep sleep. It's like you know when when the bulul yelled, and everyone was shocked and moved. And um, that lady represents the country. It was like a big awake, awakening for us, for the ten of us, especially me. We need to wake up and to 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 give importance. To, to our culture. Well, I'm basically a painter. I paint figurative, uh, you know, figurative paintings. It's mainly about the human figure, uh, but more of uh, the human figure uh, in, in many situations. Uh, so there's a lot of narrative elements in them. Uh, I tackle uh, di different uh, issues like what's going on in society, uh, issues about my views in religion. A lot of it has to do with uh, wrestling with the issue of identity. I would say I'm more of a craftsman because the work that I choose to make is um, very process-based. So I start from, you know, the fiber of uh, plant fibers and then I make paper 
and then I make images from the whole process. Um, it wasn't until working on this project and the digital co-creation team that I really felt connected to my heritage. I've always kind of stepped away from labeling myself as Filipino and I guess that maybe as a Filipino American I always wanted to just blend in and assimilate um, so I was was never like part of the Filipino clubs in high school or college and then uh, I found out about all of this and it all made sense like I really was drawn to like the patterns and the symbols and the art and the handicrafts Realist painter, dahil uh, gusto kong i-portray o gusto kong ipakita yung mga yung katotohanan. Ang ginawa ko doon yung, yung isang babaeng igorot dahil pinaportray ko yung uh, damit niya. Ayun siya mismo, parang gusto ko ipakita yung hindi lang damit. Sobrang saya, sobrang saya dahil hindi uh, ko akalain masama ko sa Makakunta ko dito sa ano, sa Amerika. I would probably say that I'm a contemporary artist that uh, mostly paints um, uh, with color and uh, I love I love color and what it does emotionally to you. So this project is um, a wonderful way for me to visit my, you know, my father's side of the family and um, learn what it is to be part Filipino. Part of the collaboration was um, the vases or vessels. It's basically going to be an outline of the vessels and it's, it's a metaphor for the way I feel about being Filipino before the project. I was an, an empty vessel really and the people I met, the artists I'm working with and going to the Philippines have given me stuff to fill that. I'm just uh, expressing what my environment and culture around me. So from there I can create something. Uh, I'm painting the Gulur, the central figure, the screaming. Yeah, I chose the Bulol because it's uh, best represent the Cordillera or the northern people, the indigenous people of the northern Philippines. It's one of the icons or it's, it's one of the most enduring object and its function it did not uh, change ever since the colonizers came. I'm definitely an abstract uh, painter. I explore identity and issues with identity through found materials and collage. On the mural I painted uh, two wooden spoons. I thought about my own grandparents and how they would host family for dinner uh, and friends. It was a feast, uh, so this, the spoons symbolize feasting and Filipino food for me. Well, I learned about the Philippines when I visited there. Of course, you never know until you're actually you actually set foot on the land <laughs> and the homeland. I wanted to say so. I feel like it was quite a culture shock, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think it was a very special uh, time for me. Artists here have sanctified the Budol with their paint, and it is now awakened, aligned with the spirit of our ancestors, screaming to the world about our Filipino identity. Yeah. 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 Yeah.